Hi guys, this is Chaitanya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our channel on jobs and careers. So guys, like today we are going to talk about four mathematical tricks where you can apply in any aptitude exam. So coming to the first one. So when you get this kind of question, in general, people try to solve this. How? They will try to solve this 10 in, in the form of 7. How? I'll do. I'll show you. They'll try to make it 7 into 5x plus 2x plus 10. So this will be converted into x into x plus 5 plus 2 into common and x plus 5. So this they will write as x plus 5 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. So answer is minus 5 or minus 2. So this is one trick. But in general, this will not be so easy when you are going with higher numbers. So this is a trick what I am going to say for you. So for sure you have to split it. but the splitting will be very much easy when you are going for a higher number. For example, this I will show you. So 10 into 1 is 10. So just make it 2. 2 into 5 is 10. So answer is only 2 and x. But if you want to know what are the signs of that, you should go for this. So in question, both these two are plus and plus. So answers will be minus and minus. So answer is minus 5 or answer is minus 2. The same result we have got here. We just got this answer in one single step by just taking this and go going for this. For example, coming to this question. So we will try to resolve this 12 in, in the form of 8. How? 12, 2 into 6. Here itself we get the answer because it's both are just showing the 8y. See? minus 2y minus 6y plus 12 is equal to 0 the same thing but you need the signs now how in question they were saying minus and here minus here and plus so just go for this minus and plus so answers will be and plus and plus so answers will be plus 6 or plus 2 we will also try to solve in this way y as common y minus 2 minus 6 as common y minus 2 y minus 6 into y minus 2 equal to 0 so y is either 6 or y is either 2 so but we just got the same answer in one single step this is how we will try to solve in the next pattern i'll just show you a little difficult problem in the same way so guys before going to the next problem i'll just explain you what is this see if you these are the trick notations for example, in the question, if you get plus and plus and answers will be minus and minus. For example, if you saw this and if you consider if you got 2 and 3, for sure the answers will be minus 2 and minus 3 because already I ex explained you like if plus and plus notations are there and minus then answers will be like minus and minus. Just try to little by heart these things which are not so much difficult. So coming to this kind of problem. So earlier how I told you just make it 15 into 3 is 45 earlier it as it is 1 the same numbers are left over 15 into 3 is 45 and just make it as 9 into 5 o already you 9 and 9 plus 5 is 14 already we have got so uh, these are the answers but earlier actually for 2 and 3 i mean for the previous problems there is a by 1 here also 9 by 3 and 5 by 3 are the answers this 3 has come from this but as notations are plus and plus so answers are minus and minus so answers are minus 9 by 3 and minus 5 by 3 so answer will be 3 3 3 is a 9 minus 3 and minus 5 by 3 so that is how you will try to solve this kind of problems but in general if you try to resolve this it will take it will try it will take a lot of time and second thing is it will try to show you a different result which will not be in your options so let's go for the next one so guys now i'm going to explain you how to get squares of numbers between 25 to 50 in very short time or it could be in 5 6 seconds how but in order to get these numbers you should be knowing squares of uh, numbers till 21 so i'll just explain you how to do it very easily for example 49 so what is the biggest number nearby is 50 let's take 50 just take this 50 till for the all the numbers what i'm going to say for you 50 50 minus 50 how, how close 50 to 49 is only one so one square is 0 1 and for 50 by 2 is 25 and how much 
close it is one, only 1. So minus 1 is 24. So 49 square is 2401. For example, I'll just explain you how to do it for 48. 48 into 48. How close it is? 2. 2 square is 4. But we are just writing it as 0, 4. 50 by 2 is 25. 25 minus difference is 2, right? Minus 2. Answer is 2304. As it is very near, you are feeling like answers are coming very easy. I'll just explain you 36. Let's take example 36. 36 into 36. How close it is? 14 to 50. 50 minus 50 minus 14 is 36. So 14 square is 196. So 96 you keep. Just keep one aside. And how uh, 50 by 2 obviously 24. Sorry, 25. 25 minus 14. How much? It is uh, it's 11. And previous one is there. Add to it. It is 1 to 9, 6. It's very easy if you are doing it continuously for a couple of times. You will get this 26 to 50 in just 2 to 3 seconds of your time. Let's go for the next trick. So guys, coming to the next trick. So when you get this kind of question, people will try to solve in this kind of way. 77% of 64, they will just write like 77 by 100 and into 64. And they will try to solve until they get some decimal factors. But this is a very long process. I'll just say it in very short, easy way. How? See, actually 100% is 64 and they were asking only 77% of 64. So, 100% is 64. If it is 50%, how much? 32. If it is 25%, how much? Half. It is 16. Just add 50 and 25. It is 75%. So, 75% how much? It is 48. We just want 2%, 2 extra percent. So obviously if it is 100 is 64, 1% is 0.64. Obviously 2% is 1.28. Just add 1.28 for this. Answer is 49.28. So that is how we will try to solve it. But when you are trying to resolve in a way like 77 by 100 into 64, it will consume a lot of time. For example, let's take 85% of 60 right now. So, 100% of 60 is, 100% is 60, 50% is obviously 30, 25% is 15. So, 50 plus 25 is 75%, 75% already we have now 45. Now, we do just want 10% extra and 10% is 6. So, just add 10%, 6, it is 51. So 51 is your answer. So that is how you will try to solve this kind of questions. So we have come up with a shortcut video covering four different questions. It will make your aptitude process go very smooth. Let's start it. So let's start with this kind of question. So whether it could be a competitive exam or it could be any technical round or it could be any competitive exam. If you get this kind of question, don't try to solve this. Some people will try to solve this kind of question as 3x square plus 27x plus 5 equal to 215. They will do 3x as common and they will write x plus 9 and plus 5 and they will try to solve like this. This is, this, will, this is a time consuming trick. So there is also called an elimination trick where you can keep this number in place of x. Which number if you keep in place of x and if you are getting 215 then that is your answer. For example, I am taking 2. 2 square is 4. 4 threes are 12. 2 into 27 is 54. And plus 5. It's 7 plus 4. It's 11. 2 plus 5 is 7. It's 71. So 71 is not equal to 215. So un option A is wrong. Then let's go for 5. So 5 square is 25. 25 threes are. It's 75. Plus 5 into 27. 5 7s are 35. 5 twos are 10. 11, 12, 13, 135. Plus 5. So just add the sum. It's 15 
1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 7, 2, 1, it's 2, 1, 5. So the answer is 2, 1, 5. Then solving the entire problem, if you keep this answers or options in the place of x, if it tallies, for example, LHS should be RHS. If our LHS is RHS, then option is right. So we got the answer as 2, 1, 5. So answer will be B. Let's see a similar problem like this. So earlier we took a equation and now it's also similar like that. So if you get this kind of question, you also have to do the same process. What is like you, keep, you should keep the option in the place of x. When you keep 2, it's 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. 28 minus 8, 20 into it's 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and answer is minus 40. So LHS is not equal to RHS. So this option is wrong. In the quick mode, I'm rightly going to the D option where because I, I already know the answer. It's 3, 28 minus 3 cube is 27 and 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1. It's, all, it's already given. It's, it is 1, 1 into minus 1 equal to minus 1, minus 1 equal to minus 1. So LHS is equal to RHS, so problem is solved. So this is how you have to do it. Some people, they keep on trying to solve this and they will try to figure it out by this equation, by e by equating the same thing with minus 1. So it takes a lot of time. So this is the best way you can solve this kind of problems. And there is also some easy method where I'll tell you in the next video. So as of now, I'm going to the third concept. So guys, if you are going for any interview, when you're going for a technical round, the most simplest question and most frequently asked question in C language or it could be in coding round is swapping of two numbers without using third variable. Let's see how to do it. So for example, A value is equal to 3 and B value is equal to 2. But I will write A is equal to A plus B first. Then A value will convert to 3 plus 2. It means from then it will take A value is as 5. So now A value is 5 and B value is equal to 2. Now B I will write a command called B equal to A minus B. Then B value will become 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. So already B value it is now 3. Now what is the A value? I will write A is equal to A minus B. Already A value is 5 and B value is now is 3 and A value now is turned to 2. So now we got B value is equal to 3 and A value is equal to 2. So we have moved, we have swapped without using a third variable. That is how we do in technical round or it could be a paper explanation. You can do in this way. So let's move on to the fourth one. So in this fourth question, I'll explain you how to do a number series solution so easily. Let's, for example, we all we have a question like this. 9, some x number and 45, 144 and 585. Here, you can see a multiple of 3 or it could be a multiple of 9. Just try to crack it. How, it ha how this 9 has come first. You can clearly observe that it's a multiple of 3 and or 9. First see, it could be 3 into some number plus 9 also. This number, you try to make it sound 0. So 3 into 0 is 0 and plus 9 is equal to 9. And take this as reference. And as we started from 0, let's consider next number is 1 and keep it as 9. 9 ones are 9, 9 plus 9, 18. Actually, this value already we got now. But in order to find it out whether this is right or wrong, let's go for the next step. Write the answer here and write 0, 1 and it's second 2 plus 9. 18 twos are 36 plus 9 is equal to 45. So we got the third number. In order to check it again, let's go for next one. 45 into 3 which is 135 plus again 9. So it's 144. So this is how we cracked 
this kind of problem when you get this kind of number series in general try to figure it out in an equation which is a multiple of a multiple of these in general let's leave this and try to see which is a common number which is directly multiple of these numbers or which is around these numbers in some cases they will also will give like 11 22 33 or so it could it could be 10 into 1 plus 1 10 into 2 plus 2 10 into 3 plus 3 so you just try to figure it out how these numbers are matching to a table of one particular number so guys hope the video is interesting and that's all for today and if you have any query please do comment below we will come up with more interesting videos on such concepts so until next time good luck and goodbye